2017 Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS PDK Review From 75,074 pounds 9 point Our UK drive reveals that the Carrera 4 GTS adds extra driver engagement without losing any of the 911's traditional everyday capabilities. What is it? They know how to do it, don't they? There's a reason the greatest sports car of all time is also one of the most successful sports cars of all time. Beyond the fact that it's the greatest, they give you options. Go to the Porsche website and you'll currently find 19 variants of the 911 on offer, even though the range is currently without a GT3 slash R's model. From the base Carrera 2 through Tau the Turbo S Cabriolet, Porsche is the master at making a 911 for everyone. Well, not quite everyone, because even the cheapest one is 76,000 pounds, but you know what I mean. With some sports cars slash junior supercars, you might get two or three or four or five, even seven or eight flavors. 19 means that, if one isn't quite for you, another one likely is. The latest and meanest batch to join the range are the GTS models which, last time around, acted like some kind of bridge between regular Carrera models and the GT3. Now the GTS is back, with the suggestion that it might do the same, a Carrera S Plus, if you will. Lower, faster, keener, but not motorsport derived. Watch our video review of the 2017 Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS here. Sounds quite promising for the road, doesn't it? GTSs now account for five models in the 911 range. You can have a two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive coupe, the same in cabriolet form and a Targa in four-wheel drive only, in either manual or dual-clutch PDK automatic form. All GTS variants get the wider body that usually marks out four-wheel drive models, and the same power output of 444bhp 30bhp more than the regular Carrera S courtesy of new turbochargers for the 3.0-liter, flat-six engine. That the GT3, GT3Rs and 911R are no longer available means the 911 lineup is now entirely turbocharged. All GTS models get sports suspension, which is 10 mm lower than standard, but coupes like this one get a further suspension drop courtesy of PASM, Porsche Active Suspension Management, which also allows the dampers to be swapped between normal and stiffer modes. The Targa and Cabriolets do without that. Standard on all, though, is a sports exhaust and Porsche's sport chrono package, which brings with it dynamic engine mounts. Soft during normal driving, they firm up in cornering to prevent the engine moving around and unsettling the handling of what is, let's remember, a rear-engined car. What's it like? The detail changes even between GTS variants continues. If you spec a manual car, you get a mechanical limited slip differential and Porsche torque vectoring, rear wheel braking. PDK models get an electronic limited slip differential and PTV+. I swear there are as many Porsche initialisms as there are 911s. The plus bit means that the wheel braking is combined with control of the differential. And then you can have as an option power steering plus, which makes the steering lighter at parking speeds and is fitted to this gray car, and active rear steering, which isn't. Phew. Keeping up. Good. Then I'll continue, wheels are 2.0 in center lock as standard, and 0.5 in wider than usual, shod with 2.45 mm wide front and 3.05 mm wide rear tires. The rear track is wider than the Carrera SS, too, to encourage less body roll. Front brakes are up by 10 mm in diameter and get larger 911 turbo pads, with aluminium disc hubs. The 0 to 62 miles per hour time falls by at least 0.2 sec and, in case you care, the Nürburgring lap time is, apparently, down by 4 seconds. Inside. An Alcantara steering wheel is the highlight, 
because I love Alcantara wheels, and there are a few smatterings of GTS labeled bits and bobs here and there, plus dark colors to make it a bit more moody and purposeful. But the devil is, as is so often the way with Porsche, in those technical details, intended, you suspect, to add just enough keenness and sharpness, hints of GT3, while staying road sensible. Kel surprise, they work. Boy, do they work. A standard 911S is still a terrific car and because it retains six cylinders, unlike a Boxster slash Cayman, the addition of turbos hasn't spoiled the engine but this GTS turns up the levels of interaction a bit further. There's no great reason it should be hugely different from a standard 911 and, well, it isn't because you can have the equivalent suspension drop on the regular Carrera S. But there is a big enough difference in all the little details combine the better feel offered by the steering wheel rim, the reduced unsprung mass at the front, the modest but noticeable difference in urgency, and the resistance to roll and enhanced traction given by the new rear geometry that the GTS feels inherently keener, more engaged, and more willing than a regular 911. It still rides, too, which is some going for a car with 35 profile front and 30 profile rear tires. Even on Welsh hillside roads, you can flick the dampers into the sport setting and not be bucked from one bump to another as you would be in a Nissan GTR. It doesn't have the magic floaty feeling of a McLaren 570s, but it settles impeccably quickly and its steering, meatily heavy, is quite possibly the most rewarding electrically assisted system on any current production car. It retains a usable roundness, but it feels inherently keener, more engaging, more focused. The engine sounds a touch zingier and has suffered no discernible loss in response. PDK is now superb and the handling is as secure, predictable and engaging as you could hope. Should I buy one? Those words keep cropping up when you try to describe the GTS, engaging and keen. It's not that a regular Carrera or Carrera S lacks those things, but for every incremental model upgrade, they are the things that seem to fall away, until some of it is popped back in later. The GTS is Porsche doing precisely that. Like I said, Porsche gives you choices. Of the current 911 lineup, the GTS would be mine. Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS PDK Location Wales On sale Now Price £99,303 Engine Flat 6, 2,981 cubic centimeters, twin turbo, petrol. Power. 444 bhp at 6500 rpm. Torque. 406 pounds foot 2150 5000 rpm. Gearbox. 7 SPD dual clutch automatic. Curb weight. 1,590 kilograms. 0 to 62 miles per hour. 3.6 SEC. Top speed. 191 miles per hour. Economy. 33.3 mpg, combined. CO2 slash tax band. 192 g slash km, 37%. Rivals. Audi R8, Nissan GTR.